Over the past several years, I've sent well over half a billion emails to my subscribers while generating millions of dollars from it. And in this video, I'm going to share with you my top five email marketing tactics that you can instantly apply to your business to start generating more sales. If you're interested, then keep watching this video. What is up everybody, Fred Lam here, and in today's video, I'm gonna review my top five email marketing tactics that I personally use to generate millions of dollars by simply sending out simple emails. Now, before I get into it, make sure that you smash the like button, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and hit that notification bell so that each time I release a brand new video, you're gonna get notified right away. Now, why email marketing? Well, first thing first, you gotta understand that when it comes to business, email is by far the number one assets for your business. After all, you have already invested your time, money, and effort into acquiring customers, prospects, and leads. Now, you can actually start continuously monetize and make money from simply sending emails out to your database. But at the same time, it baffles me that majority of businesses and online entrepreneurs, they never email their list which means you are leaving a lot of money on the table. And in this video, whether you are an affiliate marketer, you're into e-commerce, you have a small business, or you're a solopreneur, I'm gonna share with you the top five email marketing tactics that I personally use to actually generate a lot of money online, and I'm gonna give them to you so that you can actually start getting results. So let's dive right in. Tactic number one is to keep it short. Now, when it comes to keeping it short, I'm talking about keeping your subject line short and keeping your email copy short. Because remember one thing, the purpose of your email is to get your subscriber to click and go to a website or watch a video or buy something from you. You're not creating or writing an essay to actually get them to go somewhere. That's not what emails are for. The whole purpose is to actually grab their attention, get their interest, and get them to click on the links or button within your email. If you have accomplished all three of these tasks, your email copy is already completed. And at the end of the day, first thing first, you don't wanna actually have it very long because people will not read it, they will be bored, and you want to actually get them to go somewhere where you either buy it on your website or action on a particular item or things that you want them to do. So with that being said, keep it short, super important. When it comes to subject line, I create or write them with less than five words on them. And when it comes to the email copy itself, I try to keep it under around 250 words and actually have multiple links all across it because I want them to take action on the email so that I can bring them in into my customer journey. Now, email tactic number two is that you would make sure that you have storytelling. Now remember, when it comes to email, you don't want to just send out your deals and promotions out there. If you do that often, then you are gonna end up into the promotional folder or even the spam folder. And in fact, one thing that a lot of people absolutely overlook when it comes to email is the fact that you should be building a relationship with your email subscribers. Because after all, these subscribers will eventually become your customer or the people that are receiving it are already your customer and you're trying to actually strengthen the relationship so that they can actually continuously to trust you, like you, and buy from you at the same time. So when it comes to storytelling in the copy, it's super important. You wanna actually write a story, a quick story to actually get them into your life or convince them why that it is an important thing that they should actually take action on the email on whatever you are promoting. And the more that you're able to actually write it as a story, the person on the other side of the screen receiving the email, 
they will feel like you are personally talking to them like a friend. So again, that's gonna actually strengthen the relationship and it's easier for the person to actually click that link and actually buy because there's the like trust factor right in place. Now, email marketing strategy number three is that you would want to have two to three links right within your email copy. Now, people oftentimes only have one link in their email copy to actually get the person to go to a website or go do something. You don't want to just have one link because that means that you're giving them only one chance for them to actually click. So in your email, as you're writing it, you want to actually have two to three, depending on how long your email copy is. I oftentimes have a link very early in the beginning, one in the middle, and one near the end at the same time. So that as the person is scrolling through the email on their phone, they don't actually have to scroll back up to click on the link or scroll all the way down to actually click on the link. It is visible right in front of their eyes along with the copy at the same time. But on the other hand, you don't want to have too many links because if you do, What's gonna happen is that you are gonna end up in the spam folder because the majority of your email is just consisting of links. So again, when you keep it short at storytelling and pampering with links, you are gonna get much greater results with your emails than anything else you've done before. Now, email marketing tactic number four is to add a P. S. Once you actually finish writing your email and you actually signed off, always have a PS and we actually bold the word PS and add in one to two sentence at max for some indirect selling. You'll be surprised that the PS and the link or whatever you actually say in the PS is even more attention grabbing than anything else on the email copy. So oftentimes what we do is that in the PS, we do some indirect selling or telling them specifically what to do next or to tell them that we have a huge announcement coming up. And we know for a fact that most people actually read the top copy and also the PS at the same time. So start adding PS right in your email. Now, last but not least, which is email marketing tactic number five is personalization or people call it segmentation. The more that you are able to actually speak to your email leads or subscribers or customers based on where they're at in the customer journey, the email open rate and click through rate and conversion will be so much higher. Let's say if we take an example, if a person actually opt in to get an ebook of yours versus a person that actually bought something from you, the person that actually just opt in for an ebook are not as likely to actually continuously buy from you than the person that already bought from you. So the emails should be different on what you send to what we call the prospect and what we should actually send to the customer because they are at a completely different customer journey. Now, segmenting them isn't only the way that you should personalize your email. You should also make sure that you add in their first name in the subject line or right in the beginning of the copy. When a person actually see their name receiving an email from you with their name on it, it's a higher chance that they're gonna actually open it and interact with that email as well. So the more personalization that you are able to do and also the more segmented your emails are, the better your conversions are gonna be and the more sales you are going to generate. So once again, whether you are into affiliate marketing or you own a small business or you're into e-commerce, it's super duper important that you start implementing email marketing into your business and start using these five email marketing tactics that I just shared with you to actually get better results. Now, at the same time, if you are a complete beginner and if you want to learn exactly how to build an email business from scratch without a website or without any products, then right in the video description right below, there's actually a link to a free course that I recorded for you to show you how you can actually start building your email list without a website and without a product. Other than that, listen, I hope that you enjoyed this video. Make sure that you smash the like button, 
subscribe to my YouTube channel, and hit that notification bell so that each time I release a brand new video, you're gonna get notified right away. Now, at the same time, if you love to actually share your thoughts and comments, feel free to share right into the comment section below. I will do my best to answer it as soon as possible. Other than that, till next time.